Today we have a 90 foot azimuth 1988 located down here in, in Miami, Florida. Uh, boat is very inexpensive. Uh, needs some work. You can see uh, the flybridge, the Isinglass, and the bimini top are down. It needs that replaced. Um, this wood for the railing is used to get sanded and varnished. Coats on it. There's some work it needs, but overall, we're in okay shape. You can see the anchor is a little rusted. The hull overall looks good. Could use a compound and wax. Getting a little bit chalky. But it's in good shape. Um, the boat at one time was probably everything. Uh, the owner of it now inherited it from his parents. Uh, he's not into boating and he uses it as his office. You can see this wood um, can get resealed and cleaned up and stuff. There's a little stress cracks here and there. It's a bad weather day out so you can't tell the wood what's, what's wet and from the rain and what's dirty. I would assume most of the wood is just wet. See the bimini's gone. See the weather stripping on this particular window. Looks like it's coming off. Um, but it is a lot, a lot of boat for the money. And let's go inside. Take a look inside. Now again, he uses it as their office, so all of the work things, the artwork, and the piano that's in there do not go with the boat. It would be cleaned off. You can see the seal down here where the house comes into contact with the deck. It needs to be recalked. places where paint's coming off, but again, that's fixable. We'll go inside. Again, he uses it as his office, so you'll see people in here working. When we go in on the port side, all the way forward, it was a sitting room. There's a sofa. That should be a sofa. And then a TV in here. This was just a simple sitting room. Looks like it might have had water damage, water leak at this corner of this window earlier. I don't know if it still does or not. There's a cabinet in there with a ton of storage. All of the mauve carpeting is done. It needs to be replaced. Tile floor here. We go aft and down. Go into the captain's facility um, for crew it has a captain here his own galley area refrigerator his own head and this is the captain's quarters again filled with storage of their work um, supposedly none of these pictures go with the boat but this is crew quarters they pulled up the carpeting down here for some reason or another. Forget what they had said. We have the pilot house here, which again has all the work stuff in it. Uh, supposedly this boat is ran once a week, not taken out, but ran here at the docks. I see a towel underneath that forward window. I don't know if it's wet, there's moisture. That definitely have to get checked. The carpet's gone. The flooring is teak and holly that could use work. These stairs coming up here are hinged. I don't know if you can see the hinge. Underneath the stairs there's a freezer. Pretty large size freezer for Freezing meats or whatever. 
large flybridge, plenty of seating. Didn't uncover any of this because, like I said, it's raining. All the ice and glass is bad. The canvas on the top is done. The jacuzzi's garbage. And spare props, which do go with the boat. back inside because it's going to start raining up here pretty soon. It's already drizzling on me. I want to give you a view of that. Go back down these steps and go aft some more. And we'll go down these stairs into the staterooms. And it's a little bit dark in here. Hope you can see. As we go aft, we have the master stateroom. And all of this wall covering is all hand painted. It's super nice done and it's aged again. And the mauve carpeting has got to go. It's um, dirty, bad. Cabinetry looks okay. And the paintings, the pictures don't go with the boat. The um, has a his and hers head, uh, porcelain sinks that are hand painted to match the wallpapering. And if you look at like the fish shower heads, I mean, this expensive stuff that's in here, but it's just aged. On the other side, we have the hers. That was the his. <laughs> This one's the hers because it has a pink sink. But basically the same thing where the sink matches the wallpaper. This one's carpeted and has a larger shower. And the other fixtures are amazing. The toilet and a bidet. And again, those fixtures. I'm going to run out of time so I'm going to try to make this a little bit quicker as we're going forward. You can see an old TV ton of storage throughout, you know, deep closets, all over the place. I have a washer and dryer here, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's dark. Four staterooms down here, we were just all the way aft in the master, and here you have a twin stateroom. They keep all the cushions in here from up top. And again, the porcelain sink. Toilet matches everything. The fish head shower, if you can see it. Very interesting. A ton of storage under the stairs. A bunk stateroom here. Twin on top of twin. Again. That's not going with the boat. And all the way forward, side by side twins. And go back up top. If you can see these handrails, but they're metal with gold laid flowers and stems on them, and they're actually pretty nice. Uh, you got some damage here on the wall, it's been puttied over or plastered over. A little discoloration here, so, problem with the door underneath the door where they installed this slider. The galley's all pink. Nice teak and holly floor. Side by side sub-zero refrigerator. Again just due to